Hello, this is Jay Yashar with showandtellpromo.com slash design. And in this video, I wanted to share how to create your own avatar. Now, with the popularity of social networking sites like Twitter and Facebook, uh, it has become all the more important that you have a good avatar representation of yourself. And it's kind of like... Uh, having uh, a good portfolio or a good resume set up uh, unfortunately people will judge you based on uh, the first impression that they get about you so you kinda wanna put your best foot forward and uh, give them a nice uh, good picture of yourself but uh, in a lot of cases that may not be always the case there's a lot of people that like to use logos or uh, symbols uh, different things to represent who they are and that's fine but uh, you know it's always safe to use the good old garden variety picture of yourself so with that being said I'm gonna show you how to do one and uh, you can create them in uh, of course Photoshop, GIMP, uh, a lot of the major image editing programs uh, can create you can create your avatars just fine through those but I chose to use uh, MS Paint which is a program that just about everybody has if you have Windows then you've got uh, paint somewhere on your system and so let me just quickly show you where it would be if you go start then into programs and up here on the left hand side accessories and you scroll down and paint should be here and so I've already got this image open as you see of our friend here and we go so what you're gonna do is MS MS paint again up in the toolbar we select the selection tool we're gonna drag a square around her head leaving a little bit more space at the bottom than on the top and I'll explain why in a minute so we've got our selection here so then once you've made that selection your selection tool then turns into the uh, the directional tool and you can grab and drag things and so let's grab it pull it all the way up into the corner get it as close as you can now we come down to the lower right hand corner of the entire you know the main image and there are little handles here I don't know if you can see them probably can't but there are little handles all the way around this picture and you know that you've hovered over one because your cursor will turn into a double-sided arrow once you get that double-sided arrow click and drag the entire image until you have matched it up with your newfound selection like that now from here there's a little bit of math involved don't get scared it's very easy and you can even pull out a calculator if you need to but we're gonna go up into image attributes and we're going to take note of the lowest uh, the lowest of the two measurements uh, the width and height and I see that the height is 344 whereas the width is 353 so we're going we're gonna to go with the 344 keep that in mind and now we're going to uh, we're going to divide that by a number and then the number that we divide it by is based on what social uh, website you are creating an avatar for. Now you can go universal, which is what we're going to do, and we're going to just say 100. 100 pixels by 100 pixels. So a perfect square, 100 by 100, is usually the size of the avatar that uh, most social networking sites will accept some a little higher some a little lower um, Twitter doesn't really put 
a parameter or put a limit on the parameter but they do put a limit on the size of the file itself and I believe it is 700 megabytes um, I, I believe that's right double check with them as soon as you uh, as soon as you create your account and you go in and you go to add your picture then it'll tell you very clearly and also uh, the image needs to be either a GIF file or uh, I forget the name of the other file that it accepts but there's only two and there's no GIF it doesn't support GIF so JPEG is usually the safest one actually I'll look it up and I'll let you know what that other one is in just a moment but anyway so uh, in this case 100 pixels by 100 pixels so we're going to divide this number by 100 so keep that in mind 344 so 100 divided by 344 is point two nine zero blah 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 so we're gonna say 29 and that's the number that we are going to use to reduce this image so come up to image again uh, stretch and skew and enter in here two nine so that we're, that's what we're gonna reduce it to in both horizontal and vertical click OK now we've got the smaller image and then again we're gonna come back up to image go to attributes and make sure that we've got exactly 100 by 100 the height is already there we just need to adjust the width in some cases you may have the height and the width off just a bit make sure that they both say 100 regardless go click OK now we've got the image at the perfect size and you may not be able to tell but when you look at an image most of the pictures that you see in magazines catalogs uh, they usually have their image so there's our image just want to go in and in this take in this case I'm gonna do a save as because I don't want to mess up the original and you can save this image as a gif and the other format that Twitter accepts is PNG as for Twitter Facebook I'm not sure I imagine that they would support uh, gif files GIF files and uh, PNG files as well and same thing for MySpace and a lot of the other forums and places where you use an avatar so click save and there you have your avatar uh, I hope this has been a of help to you and been useful information for you if you enjoyed it then stop by showandtellpromo.com slash design we've got plenty of other video tutorials reviews and uh, advice on anything graphic related for the the beginning designer the newbie or the non-designer that has been thrust into design for one reason or another you'll find something helpful on my site so thanks again for watching have a good one